Here's how to find out what size sprockets you have if you have a single speed belt drive on your bike. This is where to find the numbers. We're comparing a bird bike to a 10 ways bike. I'll put links to both of them. They're bankrupt and they're auctioning these off on eBay. And this is a new company from the Netherlands. So let's look at the difference in the sprockets and then how you determine what size sprockets they are. So on the rear sprocket, it's easy. There's a number right here, 22T. So that stands for 22 teeth. So you know you have 22 teeth on the rear and then on the front, if you look at the front of the sprocket, there is a letter A and it says Gates Carbon Drive. But I've seen different ones with letter A that have different sizes. So the A doesn't mean a size. I think it means the belt type or the tooth type. But if you look on the back of the front sprocket in little tiny letters, right there, you can see it says 60T. So 60 teeth on the front and 22 on the back on this bike. You just have to rotate it around until you see the letters. And then if you want to know how big the belt is, it's stamped on the belt. That's pretty basic. This is a 125 tooth belt. So this one's running 60 by 22, which I've found is comfortable at 20 miles an hour. You're not spinning out of it at that speed with this gear ratio. So then that's the maximum pedal assist you get. So I could put it in pedal assist one and kind of ride the edge of 20 miles an hour where it's helping me and not helping me and have a comfortable cadence. And this is exactly what that looks like. This is me doing 20 miles an hour on the 10 ways bike. Now the bird bike has 22 teeth in the back and it's got 55 tooth in the front. So five less teeth than the 10 ways bike. This one also has a top pedal assist speed of 20 miles an hour, but I find I'm pedaling super fast by the time I get over 18 miles an hour. So it's really hard to go 20 on this thing and give it any help because I'm spinning so fast. And you can see how fast I have to pedal to maintain 20 miles an hour on the bird bike. So then you might ask, could I swap the belt and sprockets off of that bike onto this bike? And the answer is not without a different belt. Because here's the X factor. The bird bike has a 122 tooth belt. And the 10 ways has 125. So even though there's only five cogs of difference between the two bikes. That one only has three more teeth than this one. And that's because there's a different length between the uh, front sprocket and the rear sprocket. So... One of these bikes must be longer than the other one. You can see this one's got fat tires on it. So, so they've had, probably had to make this one a little bit longer to fit everything in that they wanted to fit in. And the frame is kind of super beefy. So you can't just swap belts and sprockets from one bike to the other and expect them to fit unless this length is exactly the same. So hope that helps you a little bit, figure out what you want to do with your belt. Um, overall, I really enjoy a single speed belt drive bike with a little bit of help in the back. This one's 500 watt, that one's 350 watt, though they feel about the same in terms of power. Comment, like, subscribe. There are links to both of these bikes in the description. So I really like the 60 by 22 setup if you've got a bike that maxes out at 20 miles an hour. I think this is more Euro spec, like in Europe it's 15 miles an hour. So that's probably 55 by 22 is probably the perfect gearing for a bike that stops helping you at 15 miles an hour. That way you're in a little lower gear and you can creep up to 18 with all that mass and still cruise around. So it might not necessarily be about good or bad, but more about maximum pedal assist speed. I think on the bird bike, they in Europe, it tops out at 15, so they geared it that way. And then they just brought it to US and raised it to 20 miles an hour. And then there are some other bikes like the Ride One Up Roadster that has a gigantic front sprocket. I have not ridden one of those. So I'd imagine that'd be kind of hard to go slow and go up hills, especially if your battery was dying. But uh, that's an option as well. There are some that just have a ridiculous, silly, giant sprocket in front. Uh, if anybody's watching this and they make that bike, send me one.